thank you, but more relevant, I had the privilege to have known Mara Klumpe pretty well, although I'm a generation younger. So I'm filled with gratitude to have the opportunity to say a few words, but more importantly, of course, Agnes, thank you that the share is installed here. We'll hear the address of Mayom. Excellent choice. And um, what shall I say? I take you back for two minutes to the year 1948. Yes, this was the year of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. But it was the very same year that Mara Klombe started to be member of parliament here in the Netherlands. And a friend handed me over a transcript of what she wrote in her personal diary that 12th of August of that year. I read it slowly in Dutch, translated in English. Pay a small piece only of it. Beediging in the Tweede Kamer, to be sworn in as a member of parliament in the second chamber. Dit moment zal mij bijblijven. This moment shall be on my mind later on. Hoop dat God mij de kracht geeft om mijzelf te blijven. I hope that God will give me the power, capacity to stay with myself. En in deze sfeer iets uit te dragen van de liefde en de rechtvaardigheid. En in deze atmosfeer, in deze surrounding, dat ik may be capable to bring into the parliament this fear something of love and justice. That's the way she ended her day, writing the scribbles in her diary. And I think it's exemplary for herself as a person and for her life. I said to you that I am privileged that I have known her. How come? This is 1948. Twelve years later, Paya and friend, she invites me, she urges me to come to The Hague to become a member of Justitia at Pax, what she was sharing those days. I said, you're 1948 human rights, Justitia at Pax. After that, she was in the government. This was one of her main activities those years. And this continued now. End of the 60s, when she asked me, she had contributed to the Netherlands of becoming a welfare state. So, Marga Klompe, it's about human rights, justitia at Pax. It's about realizing welfare state in the Netherlands. She was a co-actor there. He continued to be very close. And later on, in 1982, when I became prime minister, she was the first to pay a visit. We chatted about the welfare state. And in my opinion, the necessity to revisit it. So this is the interesting story. The continuous basing, of course, is that key is that every person is important. And it's her right dimension which he continued to defend. I'll, there's no time to talk to you about all the pleasant things I had with Marc Gompe, maybe during dinner, but not now. It was a fabulous, great lady. It was an excellent initiative, Charlotte. Thank you so much. Agnes, thank you. Mirjam, thank you. That is now a permanent presence of Marga here. And we'll hear more about it. I just wanted to share my pride with Marga Klompe. I wish you a very good afternoon. And I saw in the program that a friend coming all the way of Zimbabwe is going to a resident. And that must have given Marga enormous joy because she was not inward looking. She was looking to the world. And uh, therefore, it is a great idea of the organizers that they have invited you this afternoon. I'm not going to introduce you because 
here in my uh, program, I read that Dick Plessy is. Where is Dick? I think you take over from here. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>